They came in with 5,000 new applications, and when the registrations office began going through them, they found a pattern. Every single one of them was fraudulent. A lot of them? 50%. Uh, we had close to 5,000 total from um, ACORN, and so far we have identified about 2,100. So roughly half of them roughly half. are bad. Correct. Registered to a dead person, registered as a person who lives at a fast food yes. shop, yes. or just all of them amazingly in the same hand. Yes. Yes, all the signatures look exactly the same. Um, everything on the card filled out looks just the same. Ruth Ann, fraud? We have no idea what the motive behind it is. Um, it's just overwhelming to us. Lou, I took a look at these registration forms, and indeed, they're all in the same hand. You can tell they're all written by the same person. They showed us the death certificates of some of these people who are registered there. The workers have been diligently trying to go through all these new ones, but finally, they had to just put them aside. 2,100 of these applications are fraudulent. The other 2,900 have been placed to the side. They haven't even looked at them yet. They want to take care of the actual good applications of real new voters who really want to vote in this election. But they're scared. They're scared they don't know what's out there and who or what is going to show up at the polls when voting actually begins in those ballot boxes. Drew, the, the, the woman with whom you were speaking, a, a terrific uh, public servant, uh, I, you know, and we have got wonderful people like her all over the country. Uh, she seemed very sweet. She would not commit to the fact that somebody that writing in the same handwriting for thousands of times to, uh, to register dead people uh, would be committing fraud. But this, you've been looking into this story for, for days and days now. Uh, we're, we're seeing it from Vegas to Ohio to Pennsylvania to Indiana, all over the country, uh, and these investigations are opening up. How can there be any doubt about what's at work here? You know, each individual county, Lou, and that's what's happening there. And, and let me tell you, Lake County, they are so uh, afraid of anybody calling them partisan. For every worker, every job in that elections office, one person is a Republican, one is a Democrat. Both Republicans and Democrats are coming to me and saying, look, this is fraud. This is registration fraud. But each county has to look at it. And usually what happens is after the fact, after the election, the boards look at it, they file criminal charges, people are charged uh, with these, but it, it, takes, it takes years to get these charges filed and, and for any kind of uh, actual is, convictions to come through, and that's too Where much. is the Justice Department, and why is this being permitted to go on? I think that's a very good question that I will ask the Justice Department. But again, it's the jurisdiction of the local counties that has to go through the legal process, you know. Uh, so that's, that's what this board will recommend, a decision to the county attorney. All right. Drew, thank you very much, as always. Outstanding reporting.